Quick fire round. <laughs> One more time. Okay, first question. What famous character is known for saying, I'll be back? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, uh, Terminator. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. I was thinking Darth Vader. Are you guys keeping track of who gets who? Yeah, I'll do it over here. Okay, comedian Jack Black is also a singer for which band? Oh, doesn't it start with a D? Um, no, no, no. Oh, 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 Tenacious D. Good job. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. A baby goat is called what? A kid. Yeah. What is the nickname of the U.S. state of California? The Golden Orange state. state. Yeah, ding, yeah. Ding, ding. I live here. And I <laughs> When did the website Facebook launch? 2007. 2007. 2006. 2006. 2005. 4. 3. <laughs> yes, four. Four. You guys are so in sync, though. I really thought it was 2007. I know. You guys yeah. are really on it. Okay. What year was Queen Elizabeth II born? Oh, oh 1936. Nope. 19... Oh, 29. Oh. 28. 27, 26, 25. 26. 26. Uh, all right. Now I get why Rachel just counts down. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the character Freddy Krueger is from what movie? Freddy the 13th. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Luke got that. Nightmare on Elm Street, sorry. The <laughs> Declaration of Independence was signed in what city? Philadelphia. Oh, Delaware. Oh, that's not a city. Philadelphia. <laughs> um, who was Willy Wonka in the 2005 movie Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Johnny Depp. Depp. I, did you say Johnny Depp? Yeah. Okay. You, I mean, you guys said Depp. Depp. Yeah. I said Johnny I, Depp. You know I said Johnny I, Depp. I, don't even. I'm positive he said Depp. I don't know what he said before that. Yes. <laughs> what house was Draco Malfoy in? Uh, Slytherin. Slytherin. <laughs> Luke got it. Are you sure? I was like, who? Because he said it. I he said, said um, uh before <laughs> everything. Okay, which of the four elements is associated with Sagittarius? I don't know. Um, I give up. Fire. Yes. Okay. I was going to go through all of them. And last but not least, what is the capital of Italy? Rome. Rome. Kelsey. Kelsey. Okay. If you enjoyed the quick fire round, please hit the like button right now. Boop it. Boop. Gorgeous. I cannot begin to tell you how much I do not want to be in this chair. Okay. Yeah. We're the host this week. We have a special episode this week because we wanted to do something crazy, aka we didn't want to answer questions this week. <laughs> so we got our host to do it and a special guest, Kelsey Varela. <laughs> oh, yeah. She did the same thing. You guys have heard Kelsey's voice. Uh, oh, yeah, you have to say hi. Hi. La last episode, she was in a spaceship. Now she is sitting right in front of us. How excited! It's the season finale, episode ten. This is a milestone. Oh, Woo! We're gonna go on a quick hiatus after this, but we will be back, and yeah. we will still be releasing short content. Yes, and we are all in the same room. So if you see us looking over here, they're right there. <laughs> same with them. The season winner of the first season was Rachel. She by one game, so yes. it was a real, it was, real it close. It was five to four. It was a nail biter. <laughs> I was looking over, I'm like, is this appropriate? Anyways, that's Nova. <laughs> You've seen it. Okay, oh, we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors, best out of three to see who goes first. Before we get into this, I do wanna give a little backstory. Yeah. Um, me and Kelsey have a very con uh, contentious relationship. Um, I don't even know who this is. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's the first time Kelsey's ever met Luke. <laughs> we're, we're, like, we're like friends, but also like genuinely hate each other. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Okay. Kelsey gets one. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Kelsey gets two. Kelsey gets to choose. Do you want to go first? What was the pattern again? Whoever oh, goes I don't, first I, loses. Yeah, I don't want to go I first. Was like, I was like, you. I don't want to go first. Thank you. Whoever goes first loses. That's the pattern. Right, <laughs> Gotta I'm, make I'm, him even more nervous. I'm here to break oh, okay. uh, curses. Round one, general knowledge. You get a little, a little gruffness to your vote. Ground Ground one. <laughs> you sound like Oscar the Grouch. Let's do this. What is the largest living structure on Earth? Living structure? Yeah. Like it's alive? It's alive. It's a structure that is alive. What the f*** does that even mean? What is a living structure? I and mean, that's not a hint. That's just, you need context with this question. You can't just say living structure. I have that conversation with Kelsey. What is a living structure? <laughs> we save this for the pod. I'm already, so, I'm, this is exactly how I thought this was going to go. My company has like these deep breathing exercises and one of them put you in this, uh, this landscape and was giving you facts about it. And this was one of the facts. Okay. It's like, breathe in. This is the largest living structure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got your question from a meditation. Okay. <laughs> the world's biggest single structure made by living organisms. Is what? A structure made by living organisms. I don't know. It's a giant anthill. 
Is that your final answer? You have to say final answer. Final answer. It's the Great Barrier Reef. Oh. Uh, see? And then oh. you wouldn't know it. it. I would never call that a living structure, but I guess. Yeah, yeah and I just got that from the Wikipedia page. But it page, is so coral, corals living. Kelsey. Okay. Who was the first female prime minister of the United Kingdom? See how nice I am? Are you? Yes. Like, everyone should know this in theory. I was being, like, legitimately nice. <laughs> you can think out loud, too. Like, feel free to think out loud. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to recount watching The Crown, and I got to season three, and I felt like... I think I'm going to phone (gasps) my husband. husband. (laughs) I don't know this. I can I I can lose a point. I think that's really funny because he's here. I think we should just bring him upstairs. Hey Ryan. Hello. No no no. Just have him Ben like Ben right here. Don't just call me. Should I call you? Is that better? Yeah, we can just call you. Okay. It's just funny because you're here. Oh hey. Show the camera, Ryan. Um, okay. This is her husband. Oh. Well, it's just his ear. Oh. <laughs> um, who was the first female prime minister of the United Kingdom? First female, uh, Margaret Thatcher. Oh, I did know that. Final answer? Margaret Thatcher, final answer. Ding, ding, ding. ding. Yeah. Thank you, love you. <laughs> Bullshit. Got it. I was like- you know what's great about my question, my general knowledge question? It was legitimately general knowledge, and it wasn't worded so f- confusing. Okay, yeah, but I she mean, also used her phone to friend on the first question, which is like such a faux pas. Round two. Oh, I like my question for this. I know. Round two. Music. Music. Which victorious actress did Seth MacFarlane collaborate with on the 2023 Christmas album, We Wish You the Merriest? Um, okay. Um, who is in Victorious? I don't know any. Victoria Justice is the only one I know from that show. Wasn't Ariana Grande on that show? Are you are you throwing me off or am, am I right? I think if you're a fan of Seth MacFarlane and his singing career, you should know this I'm answer. I'm a fan of his animation career um, and his movie career. That wasn't specific. When you I wasn't, me. I wasn't. <laughs> that wasn't specific when they told each other what they were experts on. Uh, Ariana Grande, final answer. <laughs> the answer is Liz Gillis or Elizabeth Gillis. I don't even know who that is. So she played no... Jade on Nickelodeon's Victorious. They oh. also released an EP together in 2021 titled Songs from Home and performed at the Kennedy Center together earlier this year. I will tell you when, with 100% honesty, I was 0% chance I was going to get there. Kelsey, finish the lyrics. Oh God. Now I am stuck between my anger and the blame that I can't face and memories are something even smoking weed does not replace and I am terrified of weather because I see you when it rains. Um, I know it's no okay, Han, and I know it's stick season, I think. Damn, good for you. Hey, that's a reality. Love or monk, because it's the season of the sticks, and I st- saw your mom, but she forgot that I existed, and it's half my fault, because I just like to play the victim. Play the victim. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's what you thought it was? Yeah. Something like, and I love Vermont, but it's the season of the sticks, and I saw your mom, she forgot that I exist. Do you have to keep going? No, no say you final say answer. Final answer. Oh, I'll sing the whole song. Final <laughs> answer. <laughs> what I'm like. Arr. You guys kept bobbing your head like you wanted more. Doc told me to travel, but there's, there's COVID, COVID on, on the brain. And I love her mom. But it's the season of the sticks. And you really I think I was gonna saw give you the your chorus? mom. She forgot that I existed. And it's half my fault. But I just like to play the victim. I'll drink. Alcohol till my friends come home for Christmas and I round three movies. <laughs> Try so hard. What actor filmed three well known comedies in 1994? What the f is wrong with you? <laughs> These were approved. But I don't think I ever got this question. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't send it to Rachel. What Girl. actor? Just in general, what actor? I've was... never seen this question to, to make it until today. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like... This isn't even fair. This is so fair. You have two lifelines. Yeah, use your lifelines. Th- this is equivalent to the time that like... When, I don't remember who asked the question, but it was like... I made the joke where it was like, what movie am I thinking about right now? Who could you call? Okay. I don't have a phone. Lifeline. Lifeline. Kai. Call, phone a friend. I always forget you can use those. Hi, hi, Kai. You're my phone a friend. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hi, Kai. No, We're hosting. Ear. Hey, Brooke Brilliant. Okay. What What actor f- uh, filmed three well known well known comedies in, in 1994? 1994? Oh, Jim Carrey. All right. It would be The Mask. 
course Kai would know this. And Ace Ventura. And that... God, your, your, your knowledge of, of movies and film is just hey, outrageous. Kai, was that a fair question? I mean, yeah. Thank you. So. Uh, but you're talking to someone who okay, literally has are you every... Are going to answer the question? Answer? Every, oh, absolutely. Gonna... That's final answer. Okay. Yeah, that's Do right. And the movies are right. Yeah, he wanted to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because... Because Kai can literally has every movie of ever, all time memorized. Thank you, you sexy man. All right, later. Okay, bye. In When Harry Met Sally, in which city do Harry and Sally first meet? I've seen this movie once. So I instantly think, I know this is not right, but when I think of, um, now I'm blanking on her name. I feel like they're on the East Coast or the Midwest. I feel like Chicago, maybe? When they first met. Mm-hmm. I think yep. they were in school. Illinois or Chicago. I'll say Chicago. Final answer, I guess. Ding, ding, ding. Really? Yeah. yeah. That, she, okay, she pulled a Rachel right yeah, there. She went really through the good. files. <laughs> she did it. I was like, how do you not make a face? I'm like making, I'm like. I know, I'm over here just staring at the camera. Yeah. I'm gonna Meg, wait. Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Round four, television. Poop, poop, peepees. <laughs> These are all going to sound different. <laughs> Which of the below Family Guy guest stars voiced a character but didn't portray themselves on the show. Jimmy Kimmel, Brian Cranston, Johnny Knoxville, or Seth Rogen? You get the official first multiple choice question on our show. <clears throat> I really do feel like I should know this. You definitely should. So there's Jimmy Kimmel. Mm-hmm. It's either Jimmy Kimmel or Brian Cranston. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go Jimmy Kimmel final answer. Ding, ding, ding. Why? Good job. What? Why? Because I know I've seen the bit a million times with Seth, both Seth and... So Johnny Knoxville, there's a bit about him being jackass, so that was automatically gone. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel... Jimmy Kimmel portrayed Death's dog in the Family Guy episode, Mr. Saturday Night. Seth MacFarlane later presented Kimmel with a figurine of this character on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Oh, that's great. I didn't know any of that. Not including their first hour-long special in 1950... What was Disney's first ever TV show called premiering on October 27th, 1954? Um, okay, so not World of Disney. So if it's not World of Disney, that's probably the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Or n- not Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey Mouse Club, I would say. You have to say final answer. Final answer. Uh, oh. It's Disneyland or the Disneyland series? Yes, okay, yeah, because he was trying to raise money for Disneyland. Round five, food, snacks, and drink. Round five. Food, snacks, and drinks. I love that instead of alternating each round, you're just both saying. Yeah, because like one, one, one's better. But I also love that, that instead smart. of just leaning into her <laughs> microphone. Oh, because yours has reverb. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> well, hers is reverb. That makes sense. Uh, score check, score check. Kelsey has four. Luke has six. Woo! I hate speed round. What three condiments make up Thousand Island dressing? <laughs> Eight thousand island th- dressing. Mm-hmm. It's it's ketchup, mayonnaise, and something. Uh, ketchup, mayonnaise, and I'm gonna go hint on this. A condiment at a barbecue. Every condiment at a barbecue. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna go with ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard. Final answer. No, er, mm-hmm. er, it. like it's mayo, knows. relish, and and ketchup. That was good, Loki. You were all those chunks in it. All right, Kelsey. Mm-hmm. Which Italian almond flavored twice baked cookie is often served with a glass of Vin Santo? It starts with a P, like a, a p- Pizzelle, a Pizzelli. Oh, gosh. It, it looks like a, a doily, I think, if I'm thinking of the right thing. Or a biscotti. <gasps> I think it's a biscotti. Like, really my, like, just my face. Okay, it's a biscotti. <laughs> B- hey, I'm talking. Yeah, we hear you. <laughs> and I'll go with biscotti. Final answer. Good job getting ding, the final ding, answer ding. in there. She's a she's, she's Rachel. But see, I'm being nice to her because I'm like, she grew up. She's Italian. I was Italian. I know she's gonna know this because we all grew up with this. Well, We're tied now, aren't we? Are we? Three, four, yeah. You're making for no, good no. TV. Five, five. Sorry, five and six. Okay. Okay. Four, okay. two, three. You've gotten three right this in I've the past one. five. Yeah. You've gotten two. Two. And he doesn't have any more um, lifelines. Life I saw a hint. Round six. Dealer's choice. Mm, come here, D Lukey Luke. This well known neighborhood can be found in around 50 different locations in the US. <laughs> like, 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 like how Lakeview is a neighborhood of out of Chicago, but it's like Chicago. Yes. 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 Um, no, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Because yeah. I'm thinking of exactly. Good thing you got four in the quick fire. Yeah. I don't know, man. Newport, final answer. I don't fing know. Mm. Little Italy. 
But they're not actually called Little Italy. Yes, yeah. they are. Yeah, they are. are they actually San, called yeah, Little Italy? Yeah, in San Diego. Italy? The, reason, the reason, yeah, the reason the I like... The actual name that's this on neighborhood the... is Little Italy. Like, in, there's one in San Diego. I'm sure there's one in Chicago. There's one in Cleveland. That's why I said section Cleveland. of a city. That's why I changed it. Section of a city. We did, yeah. We well, all that's a neighborhood. Of... Literally, a section of a city is yeah, a neighborhood. Yeah, like Chinatown. There's more Little yeah. Italy's than Chinatowns. Well, I don't know that. No, that she just asked Little Italy But Little Italy, you're Italian. You're not Chinese. Yeah. Literally, Dealer's Choice. You've and never I, seen my 23 and me. I, I played by the rules of Dealer's Choice, and I made it about you. I know. See, this is what I wanted it's to It's just like, the wording of the question is so It's confusing. a neighborhood. That's why I responded to her Hollywood. Kelsey, in the 2010 film Valentine's Day, which actor says the line, when you love someone, you love all of them. You got to love everything about them, not just <sighs> the good things, but the bad things too. Job, I watch this movie every year. Uh, but I'm blanking on her real name. I know it's Shirley something. Um, it's a f- weird okay. rating. Well, I'm gonna use my hint then. It's I know it's surely something, but uh, I will give a hint. Okay. This this actor was on an incredibly <gasps> oh 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 popular... no, he's on Princess Diaries. I don't know his real name though. You want to finish my hint? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> this actor was also on an incredibly incredibly popular sitcom. And I'll just go with like Shirley MacLaine. I don't know. Final answer. Ding ding ding! ding. <laughs> but there's Shirley a backstory to it. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher. Wait. It's embarrassing. You said you watch it every year? No, <laughs> but I swear, like, like she like she crashes into the Hollywood Forever Cemetery and like they like have this like moment because she found out that or he found out that she cheated on him when he was like away and with his best friend. And then like when you I swear, this is a messed up I was question. Like, Why? And you know Did for you a fact. Say that? Yeah. You know for a fact. He might this is but right? I think like he I looked it up. I mean that's he might have said it, said. but more people have said that in that movie. You can look it up. Yes! Hmm. Yes! I'm so sorry. So she also said it? Lou. Wow. I looked room. it up. On, at the I looked cemetery. It. At the cemetery. You had the exact yeah. location. Is that the actress's name? Shirley MacLaine? Yes! All right, well, then she gets it. Okay. Lukey Lou. No, wait, wait. Oh. Round seven. Deconstructed. Round seven, deconstructed. Can't help Round can't, seven, Because it's my job, all right? It's not. It's our job this week. But it's normally my job. Hint one, your three-point clue. This U.S. president was buried in Cleveland, Ohio. You're the one who lives in Cleveland, you know. I, 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 didn't, I didn't grow up in Cleveland. Yeah, but you live in the U.S., and this is a U.S. president. <laughs> <laughs> She's quick. <sighs> Cleveland, Ohio president. I don't know shit about presidents. Two point clue. That was one of the sites I saw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, not point, much to do in Cleveland, so I two, get it. Two point wow. clue. Yeah. It's no Cincinnati, am I it's right? No Cincinnati. He was the 20th president and was assassinated in the late 1800s. Got some years grinding over here. I know. He's he's going through his files. Rachel really does keep a decently stoic face when, when it involves Luke. Wait, late 1800s? <laughs> yes. Abraham, it's Abraham Lincoln. It sounds like late eighteen hundred is way too late. What years was the Civil War? <laughs> Where is you Ryan when you need him? <laughs> yeah. This round, exactly. No lifelines. This is your rule. Yeah, can't get a hint on a hint. Abraham question. Lincoln. Final answer. Wait, just give him the the, the okay. one point clue. Why? I don't. I don't know. Why? Why didn't you? Just Why would you not just get the one, one point? You guys are literally I, tied. Because I know that if she, because if she gets the one point, then we're tied anyways. No. Nah. So I then mean, you could have just tied. tied. Yeah. Well, I just lost it. So let's go Probably. on. Probably. There would have been a tie break. Okay. Here. Let's just see if we would get it. There is also a famous animated orange cat with the same name. Garfield. Andrew Garfield. Okay. That is the actor <laughs> who Rachel also guessed no, when I Andrew. gave her this question. It's not Andrew. Wait. Wait. Garfield. Garfield's right. Yeah. What's his first name? But Andrew Garfield's Spider Man. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I was going to say, I called it, I was like, Andrew Garfield. Wait, what the f- is this, this is first bonus name? content. James Garfield. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kelsey. Okay. Round seven deconstructed. Your three point clue. This was established in 1983. However, it was open to the public on September 2nd, 1995. Well, okay. Obviously, I know he wouldn't have it be Disney or Disney, Disney World or Disneyland, because also. That was uh, in the 50s, early 60s, and 70s, so not 95. Um, okay, I'll go for the two-point clue. Your two-point clue. The key figure behind the creation of this was Amert Erdogan. 
the co-founder and chairman of Atlantic Records. Um, I, I guess I'll hear the one point clue because I don't know who that is. Oh, Amard Erdogan? You know, come on. <laughs> I don't even know if <laughs> Rachel was speaking <laughs> when she said his name. Yeah, I have no idea how to pronounce the name. Latin? It is one of the main attractions to visit in Cleveland, Ohio, and many famous musicians have been inducted. Oh, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You see, because Final mine answer. still had something to do with you. Ding, 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 ding. 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 My one point clue would have got you there. So, Kelsey won. Kelsey won. It would have been a tie if Luke hadn't been cocky about Abraham Lincoln, which made no sense. <laughs> I wasn't cocky. You were like, Abraham Lincoln, final answer. No, I was like, there's no way. He definitely got assassinated way earlier than that. But I was like, I'm just. Yeah, you're like, when was the Civil War? I was going. I was, Not the late 1800s. It wasn't, but I was going I was going like for the win. Seconds ago. I was going for the win, just in case. You know, I didn't want to risk it. Because I wouldn't have gotten that on the See, two point that clue. Was, that was such a well, I thought I thought Atlantic Records might have given it away. So I was like a little nervous about that. Well, with this special episode to conclude, we have a winner named Kelsey Varela. Woo! Woo! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to our Sorry, host. I'm just posing over here. Um, Luke, if you're not watching this, is death staring all of us in this room, but we still love him. Um, you should just stay a host. Oh. oh. Do Do you see why I, I hate her? <laughs> hate is a strong. Also, yeah. you're not that even. Should a, be you're not even a part of this podcast. <laughs> do you see why? <laughs> we were nice of you. We were nice enough to to invite you in. Well, thank you so much for watching all of our episodes. This was our final episode of season one, and we had so much fun making it. Yeah, it's been a blast, and we're so happy that we could have Kelsey Varela for our first and only guest. Yeah. <laughs> it's the this last time successful. she's ever going to be on the podcast. <laughs> Bye, guys. Uh, also, we will um, we will be taking a, a brief hiatus, but once again, there will be content still coming out. And we'll be back with season two, so don't forget about us. And please like and subscribe. Follow us on all of our socials like Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, now Threads. Threads. Oh. Not Twitter. Not X. And uh, please, please keep just listening and give us views. Yeah, give us all love the it. likes Share and us. follows. Send us other people. Comment. And we love you guys. Bye. 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 Stay Bye. smart, not broke.